the point of the day, lunchtime, you might call it. Just starting up a, a run. I haven't done it in a while. Back when we were busy, we did this run almost every week. We probably still do, just it's probably being done by the box trucks. Starting up the paperwork so I don't fall too far behind. Live off loop, okay. Pretty sure I know. I'm gonna cheat, look it up just to be positive. Back 
else might have that. You know, every every question is a good question. It's just that sometimes we're afraid to ask it. And the question was, um, they're in the military, war in the military. They want to know if there's a, a way to get their tractor trailer license in Hawaii using the GI Bill. Of course, I, I don't know. <laughs> I never did that. The way I got my tractor trailer license is very unconventional. It's, it's um, it used to be more common in the, you know, in, in the area where I grew up, but nowadays everybody goes to school. Now what I can tell you is when I first started with the company, we had two drivers that were Marines that got their tractor trailer license while they were in the Marines, but they worked in the motor pool, I think, and that's how they got it. They, they had a program inside the military itself. And so I would say if you're trying to do that, then you gotta look in-house. And I never served in the military, so I, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> But yeah, they, they were trained by the military. They got their license. Um, and they were good drivers. They were very safe drivers. And, uh, both of them have since moved back to the mainland with their families and are working on the mainland. One guy's uh, doing some logging and the other one's uh, doing freight out of a, a train yard.
question I got is when am I going to be back in my truck? My truck is at the moment, my assigned truck is 353. It's a 2014 Freightliner, Cascadia. And uh, it has diesel exhaust fluid problems. And they're trying to re rewrite the programming or I don't know. It's I don't want to get into it because I feel like my truck is being used to leverage the management. But I don't. It's like the more you uh, concentrate on that, the more uncomfortable driving becomes. <laughs>
my van, it might be easier. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta move a few things anyway. I'm gonna go see if they got a way to move the white van. That'll make it a whole lot easier.
the dock is to the right here. I'm trying to get around this corner and back here like this guy does. But the dock is... Check engine light came on on the way back to the yard here. I have no idea why. The last delivery I made was in a really dusty construction site. I mean, the dust was like baby powder. I don't know if something got into one of the sensors. But, uh, yeah. Usually that would be something involved with the, um, the turbo. Mm -hmm. It might work its way out with a little humidity. But anyway, nice day, nice Friday. We came in at six, we'll be out of here by 3.30. We did eight container movements, a lot of standby off loads today, I like those. We drove 89 miles. Nice easy day. Headed home, we're gonna make some fish tonight. My wife likes sunfish, so I think it's called sunfish. It's, uh, it's fish that's been marinating in a, a um, uh, 
not soy sauce, but the... <laughs> it's like a tofu marinade. It's uh, very salty. I had to, to soak it before I cook it because to me it's a little too salty and too sweet. But she loves it, so... We're going to have that with some mixed vegetables, some rice, and whatever other leftovers are in the fridge. So Friday night, it's fish tonight. That is it for this week. Thanks for watching today. Aloha.